Welcome back. It's still January, but I'm already preparing for Christmas presents for next year because I'm going to make marmalade and several oranges, which are absolutely essential for English marmalade, are only available in January. What I did last night was just cut the oranges in half, pop them in my lovely jam pan, cover them with just enough water and a plate to hold them down in the water and then simmer them for a couple of hours so that the oranges are soft. All I have to do now is scoop out the inside of the orange into my sieve and set aside the orange rind that I will then chop up to put into the marmalade. This is one of the most sticky bits um, and what I'm trying to do is just get all the orange flavour from the pulp into my box and then it'll go back into the marmalade with the remaining water. Now the rest of the water goes through the sieve just because I know there's a few spare pips in there. Here they come. And that can all sit and drain while I slice the oranges so that I can get maximum flavour and it smells just lovely. Really sharp, bright orange flavour. Now I'm just slicing as very finely as I can. Food processor would be an alternative but I'm just worried that you'd end up with rather a mush, rather than nice distinct pieces. I'm just gently squeezing all these pip and the contents of the oranges just to get any more flavour and liquid out of them, but I don't want to push them through too hard. Here's all that strained cooking water and orange halves and the sugar so the juice of two lemons and the electric juicer is just perfect so I'm doing quite a bit of fruit that's the sugar all dissolved. I can't feel any more crystals. So now I'm going to add the orange and the lemon juice. That's the lemon juice in. I've moved the pot to a hotter burner. 66.2 degrees Celsius. It's only 66 degrees, so it's got a long way to go. So it's reached 103 and I'm going to start testing it for a set now. It's reached over 107 degrees now so we're just going to see if it's wrinkling on the surface and I can feel a bit of tack as well on the bottom so that's looking pretty set I think. It's reached its setting point. So the marmalade had a good chance to cool down a little and now I'm going to pot it into the little jars which have been sterilised in the oven so that they're nice and hot themselves. One jug should just about do one jar. Wax disc on top. Lid to finish. Mm. 